Brandy and uh, uh, Liam McSweeney are suing Andy, saying basically producers were p pushing alcohol on them to kind of gas the drama and such and such. I mean, what do you think about this type of, I mean, I, it's not the first time we've heard these type of allegations, but it's like, it seems to be coming up now, you know, back to back now. And it's, uh, it's well, like I, crescendoing you know, a bit. Um, First and foremost, that has not been my experience. Right, right, right. I did the first Ultimate Girls Trip. I did Real Housewives of Atlanta for over 11 years. Yeah. And everything that I did on the show yeah. was a choice. I, I think grown people, have, at the end of the day, have to be accountable and responsible for themselves. Right, right, right. Not put themselves in situations where if they have an issue, that it could cause an issue. You know what right, I'm right, saying? Right. I mean, my heart goes out to anyone who does have a drinking problem, but I will say, again, my experience, I've never been forced to do anything right. on either show, Girls Trip, or Real Housewives of Atlanta yeah. against my will. I drink, if anything, I enjoy a cocktail. I'm usually asking them for the drink. <laughs> like, where's the margarita? But that's me. But I don't have a drinking issue. Right. And I know my limit and I know how to handle myself. Right. And I can take full accountability for that. Uh, Leah McSweeney had said that Andy was like, would, if you did blow with Andy, he would give you favorable edits. And a lot of people are like, what? Is I don't know anything are you about that. About that right? I've known Andy for years. I just saw, I just did watch what happened. I just flew in from New York. Just now. Yeah. And I just did watch what happens live last night. I just saw Andy. He is never, not. A, I've never seen him do blow. And yeah, he's yeah. Certainly never off. Which is so. pretty crazy, you know. Like and like, I mean, I like. I'm I li just speaking for myself.